Man Cave, and this is Bob from the Bob Zenscale Man Cave. And today we're going to be reviewing the Microtrain's 50 foot air slide hopper. Uh, it comes in two road numbers and it has brand new tooling, which means it has body mounted couplers. And we're going to take a look at that right now. Okay, we have the 50 foot air slide hopper. They were made between 1963 and 1980. The one you see here is uh, representing the post-1973 design which proved rugged enough to be in service as of today, 2016. You can see these out there on the rails right now. One thing to note is it's light blue in color. You do have yellow lettering which you can see real well. And the road numbers and all these other details down here which you can see pretty clearly if you get a zoom in on your screen. You also have the air slide uh, air hoses down here which open up the bottom doors of the hopper so it can drain out into uh, some silos and be transferred off to wherever they're going to take it. They have looks like simulated etched metal uh, steps right here above the couplers and you can see the detail is pretty good on top as well um, all the little uh, hatches across the top the gangplank water <laughs> water walkways have the walkways up here they look uh, see-through uh, the ends pretty uh, uh, detailed as well. You can actually read all the little tiny details down here. If you really want to read them, go ahead and stop the video so you can uh, read what they say. But. Microtrains gets a really good uh, detail on these small lettering uh, printing. It's magical. Now one of the things I want to show you is the bottom. You can see the hopper detail on the doors. All the airlines and the doors and air tanks uh, help move the doors. And as noted you have body mounted couplers. Now one of the things that I ran into when I got these today was on this one here there was a kind of a, a spur hanging off the middle of the axle and that was preventing the wheel from turning because it would hit and stop on this uh, coupler box. So to take the wheel out and with a razor knife trim off the spur which is basically uh, something that just came off of when uh, the, sp the sprue when they molded it but just be aware you know sometimes you may run into that from time to time with uh, micro trains and they don't catch every one of them but um, you do have to trim it and I can I can feel a piece right there just kind of it's a little rough right in there but you gotta cut it smooth so it doesn't rub on that box and that happened on uh, two of these so each one of them had one like that uh, the, the wheels wouldn't turn it would squeak when it would roll down the track and uh, it would also uh, lift up on the truck and kind of bump up and down as the wheels rolled around but all in all, it's a very good uh, product from Microtrains, again. And this represents some of their new tooling, which all new tooling will come with body-mounted couplers where it's possible to actually put that on there. Um, auto racks may not end up with body-mounted couplers, but we'll see. Uh, they're still working on... Uh, design.
After fixing the wheel, it rolls a lot better now. You have two row numbers, 479.06 and 479.24. Going into a, uh, a silo to unload, plenty of room so they're not, not too tall, and they go in real well. As you can see, this one right here still has a little bit of wobble to it as it kind of goes through there back and forth. So maybe need a little bit of a adjustment on the wheel set again. All in all, pretty good. And if the wheel set was uh, perfect, I'd have to give this a 10. Um, right now, with the wheels, uh, kind of being like that, it doesn't quite roll right. You know, I've got to knock it down to probably, you know, probably eight. The detail on the model itself, I give that a ten. It's spot on. It looks just like uh, something I would expect out on the railroad. Looks great. So that's been my review of the Microtrain's 50-foot air slide hopper. Um, it is got body mounted couplers that's a big change and a lot of us are appreciating that change um, body mounted couplers help prevent derailments especially when you're pushing backwards up a helix or a really long train you do pushing backwards it uh, helps prevent a lot of that uh, issue from happening so I'm looking forward to what's coming out with uh, new products in the future and it's all new tooling that will only have the body mounted couplers so we'll see how this goes and it's going to take a while to convert everything you know they put out a lot of stuff and use the same molds uh, with just different road numbers and paint schemes and everything else on them I like it the only problem I had with this one was the wheels uh, they were a little um, uh, had that burr on there and that prevented it from rolling freely but other than that it's a great product as always so if you like what you saw here today go ahead and click subscribe down here below or follow my facebook google plus twitter and my instagram links down here below in the comments also click on one of my other links for videos as well as always mancavians happy model railroading stay off the tracks bye